have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and believe. This is an interesting question. The thing is, why is this interesting? So when you ask the question today, I can say yes. Tomorrow, I can say no. The day after tomorrow, I can still say no. Is my company GDPR compliant? Yes, developer will say. And then you talk to me, if my company GDPR compliant? No. You ask, huh? why? Why does it happen? Think about it. When you have a developer or someone from development team creating something for you, they create a product for you. They deliver a product and the product will meet the requirement, right? So we have a product. So we have a product. Give me a second. I made a mistake with the code. So we have a product meets requirement of GDPR. And then later, let's say a week after, we have the product, the server, and your company. Do I ne still need to meet the requirement of GDPR? I will say no. Why is that? This may meet the requirement of GDPR, but who has access to the data? Who is managing the, um, the servers? You understand? Do you need a DPO? Have you checked that? You understand why this can be complicated? One will say, yes, I meet the requirement of GDPR, but it doesn't mean you meet the requirement tomorrow because this is first in the hand of the developer on their server. You don't have anyone on your website or on your software or on your app. But as soon when you have people on it, that's a different story. So this is different time. And what you need to do is keep always this in mind. When you are collecting data, a DPO can be really handy. Why is that? They can keep track if you still meet the requirement after one month, after two months, or after three months. It doesn't have to be one day. It can also be, let's say, after one week or after one year or after uh, six months or after three months. Keep that in mind. Is my company GDPR compliance? It depends. And what people do is, if they ask this question, they do a data protection impact assessment or privacy impact assessment. doesn't matter how you call it. It just tests to see if you meet the requirement. And if you have a DPO, you can check it. It's not like, hey, I look on your website or I look on the data you're collecting. You meet the requirement. No, it doesn't work like that. You need to look, okay, these are the data that I'm collecting. Who has access to the data? Do I really need to collect those data? Why I'm collecting those data? Are those things clear? Are those things still clear after three months? Are those things still clear after six months? Are those things still clear after one year? You understand why this question is difficult? So if you're asking yourself this question, that's a good first step. Second step is make sure you understand how GDPR work. Make sure you, if you don't understand, hire someone that knows how it works and then work together with them to work to make sure you are always GDPR compliant. It doesn't have to be expensive because you can have a DPO that works on remote and it can help you when something happens or when something, even he notices something, he can warn you about it and also make sure you meet the requirement of GDPR. It's that simple. And what I don't understand is when someone say, I built a product, meet the requirement of GDPR. Doesn't work like that. If they say this, I will show them this video. So, is my um, company GDPR comp compliance? I would say no. So it may be when they develop it, but it doesn't mean it's today GDPR compliant. doesn't mean it's tomorrow GDPR compliant. But if you have someone that keep track of everything that's happening in your company and make sure it's GDPR compliant, yes, that is. And keep in mind, the company change. Company change with time. And you may not realize that, but the company change. And if you do not see that for your own company, maybe something's wrong with your company. 
I do not know. But keep in mind, your company change with times. There will be times you'll be like, oh, I don't need this data or I need more data to get more information. And are you allowed to collect those data? Keep that in mind. If you have more question about this or you don't understand this, how it works, just go in the law center and ask me a question directly. If you find this information useful, buy me a coffee, it's just $3. If you want to know what kind of services we provide, just press legal service and you see what kind of service we provide or ask the question in a Discord here. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and believe. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gonna get it. You hear me, I'm in, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen with